Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 Italy. So we're still in a world war, though so far we've been able to hold our own using our far superior submarine fleet uh, and our strategic ally to the north as Germany uh, has been able to keep the French mostly in northern Europe. Uh, they, came to, they seem to keep, like, bouncing back and forth between the Mediterranean and Northern Europe. Uh, so every time they come down here, they're blockaded by uh, Germany, so then, and we're blockaded down here, but then they go up back up to Northern Europe, and that means uh, they're no longer blockaded, but neither are we. But we continue to maintain blockades on Austria-Hungary. Uh, not that that would be too hard. They only have, I think, two or three ports that they're even... Uh, yeah, they've got Pola and Fuma, yeah, so they've got these two, and then they have one down here in between our ports, but yeah, it's, it's not, it's not a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna double check. Two more turns, and Dalmatia will have its new airbase, Airbase Zara. Of course, when I start, that's when I get a message on my phone. Uh... That doesn't look like it was much. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, what else happened? Because it's been a few days. I think. Was, is, is, am I remembering that right? Yes. Uh, we did destroy a battle cruiser, the Dunkirk. Uh, which is not one of their biggest battle cruisers, I don't think. Yeah, they've they've got a uh, a much larger new class of battle cruisers that they've uh, they've got uh, but we did knock out some of their mid-tier ones they have a couple of lighter ones uh, which you know that's fine by me uh, and it looks like our battle cruisers are gonna be outstripped pretty quickly with the new ships that they're making but hopefully it's not too bad uh, we have one more turn for all of our corvettes that we're building to come off the slips. Uh, once they do, we will then be able to put more of our destroyers into actually being destroyers. Uh, so that'll be something. Uh, we got six more months for the first new dreadnought to come off the slips, the the Elba, and then so eight months for the new for the rebuild of the uh, the Ancana, uh, which is a Marcella for its uh, refit. I uh, probably want to unhalt this at some point uh, so that we can finish this new Giuseppe. Uh, you know, we're going to resume construction and we should be good with that. Okay. Well, not much else we can really do. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Okay, new thousand tons on our dock size because of private shipbuilding. That's great. Enemy fleets dominate the seas around Itria. Okay, 40 VP. Eight corvettes are commissioned into the Navy. Top spies have managed to get hold of the blueprints of a new French dreadnought, the uh, Marnegue. Uh, what is that? Would that be the, the Marengo? The Marengo. That's actually, I remember, that's a Napoleonic era like uh, battle. Uh, the Marengo. What did you get? Uh, let's see here. That is 10 14 inch guns in. Okay, all right, and, ten, and five turrets, 14 five-inchers, four three-inchers with dual purpose, two AA guns, two submerged, direct fire control, 22 knots, 14-inch belt, 32,800 tons. Oof. That is a monster. Uh, gradual AP improvements, nice. Improves, uh, HAA, it's heavy AA effectiveness. Our new fighter, the N throw AC-81, just entered operational service, good. Enemy submarine torpedoed and sank. Ah, oh, one of our light cruisers. Let's see here, we lost two subs, they lost one this turn. They only sank four of our merchants, we sank 29. And a French heavy cruiser sinks one of our merchants. We still won in the trade war. Disruptions from raider and submarine sinkings are causing hardships and food shortages in Austria-Hungary. Our uh, the operations of our ally add 70 VP. Italian ship CL intercepts Austrian raider, running a blockade. Okay, we'll fight this.
It's just in the morning. So, let's see what we see. This is not the best ship for this job. Because uh, she is only armed with six inchers, four six inch guns, and center line turrets. And she didn't even have any secondaries. This is the mine layer. Yeah. All she's got is her primaries. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's go for five. Okay, sighted an unknown ship. Let's see what it is. We're both trying to figure it out. Okay, he's a heavy cruiser, squad max. Let's run. Oh no. Okay. The Aspern. Uh, what has it got? Three six inch guns. It's got some secondaries. Nine. What's its belt? One inch. What's our belt? Two inches. Alright, let's go. We've got the better belt armor. Come on. Okay, we got hit. We hit them. Come on. Ooh. Are we going to hit with that torpedo? Oh, almost. We got horrors are good. Medium hits. Medium damage, he's down to 15 knots. Alright, that is a torpedo gone out. Oh, missed. We lost a turret. Took a couple heavy hits, or took a couple medium hits. We're flooding. Heavy damage on him, though, apparently. Are his guns even pointing at us? They are. Okay, are we still... <clears throat> No, nope. <clears throat> we lost another turret. Okay, it's turning out. We've lost some speed. All right, time to go. Let's just leave each other. All right. Okay. I wonder where the heck all of our uh, ports and stuff are. That's weird. Maybe because it's a cruiser action? Uh, yeah, end scenario. Oh wait, we sank them! Hey, we sank them! <laughs> Apparently they had bad flooding. Ah, that works. Okay. Yep, that, that works too. Cool. Alright, gain a major... Uh, we have a major victory and one prestige point. <clears throat> oh, they are both blockaded. Both blockaded now, and we gain like... Wow, more than 300... Well, we get 370 VP for that. Uh, now we have to figure out, though, where the heck we are in terms of the... Yeah, they're here. So, we're not blockaded, apparently. Huh. Okay. All those Corvettes are 
back up, so they're in the waking up period, so we gotta give them a month to uh, to wake up, and then we can put them in. We got about 600 spare cash, we'll keep that going. Four more months for the Giuseppe, a couple more months for this new uh, light cruiser. By the way, that light cruiser means that we now have lost... That's our that's our largest ship, and that was a Lisplisa class. So that was a fairly nice heavy cruiser, too. Only had one battle in its lifetime. That was a really good light cruiser. Okay. Well, now I guess it's uh, six months at war. We're beating them handedly. Uh, though the U.S. still has not showed its, uh, its ugly head anywhere that I can see. There's a couple here in the uh, Mediterranean. It's two light cruisers. Okay. Alright then. <sighs> well, let's keep going, I guess. Now, what else we can do? Finish construction of the airbase in Dalmatia, that's great. Uh, yes. Okay, Sicily's in the yard with engine problems. Enable CVL conversions. Ooh, we'll have to look into that. The Fiat Company has developed an improved model of the float plane scout, the Fiat G76. The B. Sure, we'll take that. Food is becoming scarce in the USA due to submarine sinkings and merchant ships. That's very surprising, because they don't import a lot of food. US, US is pretty self-sufficient in that, that regard. Man, our subs are doing work. Two, almost two kills per sub that month. 40 merchants down. Uh, two of our, both of our Italian raiders uh, got multiple kills. And we also sank three subs at uh, last turn. So we killed five of their merchants. We got a lot of points for that. Trade disruptions from raider and submarine sinkings are causing hardships and food shortages in the USA. Got two messages for that one. In a battle between Germany and the U.S. navies, the U.S. Uh, ship Battlecruiser Ranger and the German ship... Uh, Koenig, uh, yeah, Koenig Albert have been sunk. So the Germans lost a Dreadnought and the Americans lost a Battlecruiser. Cruiser battle between us and the French. Except they decline battle the cowards! And we raid on, uh, on coastal shipping... Uh, we're going to decline that. So. They're still waking up. These new Corvettes. The Prisa and the San Marco are still raiding. Three turns for the Sicily's engine problems to get worked out. So that's going to, that sucks. Uh... We can already see some of our Dreadnoughts, uh, the, uh, the Primark Andronus, uh... Uh, the primary of this class is already considered obsolete. I'm surprised. We still have the same, the the Marco Polos are still in action, uh, but they're, I mean they're not that bad. I mean they're a little slow now in cramped accommodations. After this war, we're probably going to look into um, have decommissioning them and uh, replacing them with uh, some more modern heavy cruisers. Like, maybe maybe the Gi maybe Giuseppe's, or maybe a newer heavy cruiser uh, line. Apparently, we're no longer blockading Austria-Hungary, so that is a problem. Uh, but the French are still being blockaded, so that's good. Four more months for the Elba to be done. Three more months for the new Giuseppe to be done. And you'll be done in that time as well. Subs are still going strong. We're blockaded. But we now have the Dalmatian Air Base, which uh, I'm going to look at its uh, its air groups. Two fighters and a flying boat. I just want to see. Can we uh, aircraft types? Quest proposal. Let's look for medium bombers. I want range and bomb load? Nope, okay.
All right then. So the Dalmatian Air uh, Group doing okay. Yeah, doing all right. They'll 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 be fine. Okay. Fine too. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's go to the next turn. Again, there's not a lot we can do. We're blockaded, but I don't know how long that's going to be. The French might rebound back up north next turn uh, and kind of get out uh, to try and uh, stop themselves from being blockaded, which will then allow us to keep to blockading the Austria-Hungary uh, uh, coastline. Uh, though apparently we're doing pretty good against the U.S. Uh, I just wish we could see their, their damn... Uh, unrest level. That would really help. Oh, apparently technological development. We're considered very advanced, uh, while the U.S. is considered behind. So that's interesting. Let's go to the next turn. Widespread demonstrations and serious disrupt uh, disturbances are reported in the USA. Okay. Intelligence service is considering uh, offering safe passage for a revolutionary of some resound to his home country, Austria-Hungary. This will prevent revolution and may force them to the negotiation table. On the other hand, revolutions uh, tend to be contagious. What do you recommend? We're already a socialist government. Uh, at least a socialist parliament. We will backfire. Give him safe passage. Let him go. Let's see what happens. Scientists report that they have trouble figuring out the concept of improved depth charges. That kind of sucks, because we're enemy submarines torpedo and sank one of our fucking destroyers. Okay, uh, three merchants down to U.S. raiders. We sank seven with our raiders. The, the San Marcos are doing, or, the, or not the San Marcos, the, the Parisa uh, class heavy cruisers are doing well. We sank nine. Or no, we, uh, we sank six uh, enemy subs. They sank nine of our merchants. But we sank 29 enemy merchants. So yeah, we're still winning the uh, the trade war. Trade interdiction war. Trade disruptions from raider and submarine sinkings are causing hardship and food shortages in the Austro in Austro-Hungary. Okay, that was weird. Um, hmm. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. Sure. I've joined our force. Nice. What do we got? Let's see. Where, where are our allies? Do we even see them? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see what we got here. This looks like they're going to be trying to raid around here, probably. Let's see what we see. What is actually here? Okay, these are just airship recon. We've got plenty of reconnaissance. We should be able to spot exactly what's coming at us. Hopefully, we will, at least. Surprised, where would the Germans be? Because I haven't seen any. Oh. Oh, there's a recon plane. Yeah, that looks about right for this era. <clears throat> Alright, we got recon planes all over the place. We'll be able to spot them. See what we got. Anything, anything at all.
Hmm. Nope. Cap's taken off from an airbase. Nobody's spotted anything so far. Come on. Gotta be something out here. <clears throat> Most of the way to Corsica now. Ooh. Okay, we do have ships. Okay, let's see. You are a scout, line ahead. I want you on auto. You on auto. I want you on squadron max, that direction. Okay, our heavy cruisers are doing their jobs just fine. We have three battle cruisers, it looks like. Right ahead. Okay, we definitely have readings from our scouts in the air. Okay, one of their battleships is starting to come towards here. The uh, oh no, that's uh, that's a Dunkirk class, another Dunkirk. And again, it's firing 12-inch guns with 10-inch armor, and our battle cruisers are wow, we lost a rear turret already. That kind of sucks. We're using 14-inch guns and we have 10-inch belts, so we've got much better guns than they do. Uh, and I want them to go ahead and that's the wrong one. I'm trying to get the there we go. I want you to target the Dunkirk. Because if we check our gun data He's got 10-inch belts, so we can penetrate the 10-inch belt at 19,000 yards. So uh, we're far within range of being able to deal with him. So we're going to just go straight across and start targeting him. Okay, that's a hit. Okay, what is this one? It's a much lighter one using 13 inch guns. It's got heavier armor though, and the Triol class is lighter. It's got 13 inch guns and, and triple turrets, but only 9 inches armor. So their lead ship is this Dunkirk class right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's. Get a good turn here. Okay, Stephen Walker's been hitting the engine room. What's its max speed? 13 knots, that's not good. Come on, keep hitting him. He's been hit pretty bad, actually. He's only got two turrets. Light damage, but he's only going 10 knots. Okay, still only going 13. Okay, engine room hit. Still going fine. I'm gonna go 20 knots here. Just keep hitting this guy with our guns, 13-inch guns and 14-inch guns. Another one of their battle cruisers down would be great. Okay, he took some hits here. What did he do? He lost himself one of his forward gun batter, one of his forward guns, but it's disabled. It's not destroyed. Okay, another hit. Damn, hit it by a torpedo. Not the, not the worst. Not the worst, because we got better torpedo protection. 
would like it if our zeppelins, who can carry bombs, if I recall correctly, uh, would actually do their jobs and uh, drop some bombs on these bastards. Uh, oh! Wait a second. Is he... According to this, he has no turrets. He is completely neutered as a combat ship. So I'm good with continuing to fire at him. Damn it, they took another hit. Should still be okay, though. I think. Which one got hit? You got hit, but you're still okay. 14 inches. Another hit. Come on. Just gonna keep peppering this guy here. We're also hitting the Triol class a little bit, which is nice. Uh, I think it's the rear ship in the line. Haven't done any damage, though. Uh, but this Dunkirk class has taken massive damage. In all honesty, if we can, I would love to destroy another Dunkirk. Okay, he has stopped moving. If our light cruisers can actually get a torpedo off on him... He's on fire, heavy damage going... He's got a destroyed forward turret. And yeah, we can't see that because of that, but uh, that's nice, and I don't think we've done any major damage to any of these guys, no. Okay. Those are some torpedoes going out. And there it goes. Is that going to hit? That is a hit. Okay, let's go this direction here. We've now reconnected our forces together. It looks like they're they're retreating at this point. They're probably heading back, yeah, to St. Florent. They're pulling back after we bloodied their nose, the little bastards. Haha! What's, what are you going? You're going 18 knots. Let's bring you down to a cruising speed. I don't think we're going to be chasing them anymore. I think we did enough. We took a bloody nose ourselves, but we're going to hit them harder than they hit us. Okay. We'll get a, uh, a turn going here. And just let them go off down south away. And we'll destroy what's left of this uh, this battle cruiser, and we're going to send the uh, the Stephen Walker back to base uh, or back to a port, so that we don't have to deal with uh, with him out here. I don't want him getting destroyed. Okay, we took some hits, but it's it's mostly just some small things. Okay, torpedo's still going into the Dunkirk. It's another hit by a torpedo. It's another hit by a torpedo. We've lost about half of our ammunition. I think the Stephen Walker's still firing long-range shells at, uh, at the Dunkirk. Oh, they're still trying to hit us. They're coming back at us. We're gonna we're heading up north. We're getting out of here. We we've we've essentially destroyed this ship. The Dunkirk's dead, it's on fire, going five knots, heavy damage. It's it's not going anywhere. It's been hit by like four torpedoes. We're just heading up into port. We'll let them Yes, yes, I know you're running low on ammo. Okay, there goes that Dunkirk. Triol's still trying to fire long-range shells at us. And we're firing at them too. We're not doing too well this long of range. 
we got in terms of, yeah, it's still pretty early in the day. Just gonna check. The Giuseppe, you're still doing okay, right? You haven't even taken a hit. Yeah, you're fine. So I want you boys just to keep going. At the squadron max, which is 16, because you've taken a couple of engine hits. Okay, let's see about targeting. Okay, we can only target... Yeah, target the lead ship there and just keep peppering them. We've lost two turrets for our, one of ours, one turret for the other. Signals, yes, yes, yes. I get it. We are still hitting them. Light damage. No damage. You're a bit slower. Just gotta keep going at it. Just gonna check damage. You're actually doing okay, in all honesty. Taking some heavy hits, but it's mostly to your turrets. You're doing a lot less good. You're, you're actually doing some pretty bad. You have a lot of flotation damage, so our squadron max is pretty bad. So what we're going to do, I think, is head this direction and try and reconnect with the Steven Walker. Definitely want to get out of here. We've hit them pretty badly. They've hit us. Probably be a draw or close to it. Okay. Come on, make a turn, damn it. Okay, you got 50% armor. Can I get you to turn? Is your rudder jammed? Who's jammed their rudder? It doesn't say. It should be moving. Why don't you move in this direction, damn it? Okay, they are not moving. They are not going off of their course. I want them going that direction. Okay, well, the Stephen Walker is... Okay, now they're going. Okay, we're just gonna have to wiggle the walker around a little bit. Ooh. That was weird. Okay. Alright, so apparently uh, he's reconnected with his, uh, his unit, the walker. We're gonna have to keep going into this pleasa. That does increase our uh, firepower by quite a bit. We're running low on ammunition. They're crossing our T in the front. Okay, you're low on ammo. You've got medium damage. You've lost most of your turrets. Don't know about you. You've still got all your turrets. So you're actually doing pretty bad, and then you, all the way back here, are only going 10 knots. So this is just a knockdown, dragout fight. Just run. Just leave us alone. Squadron Max is still 13 knots, damn it. We can make it back. Without a single loss is my hope. Okay, we're still hitting this guy pretty pretty badly, and he lost a turret. Okay, I think they're leaving. Yes, it looks like they're leaving. Okay. There's not there's not a lot else for them. Yeah. Okay. We made it out. We made it out. 
They lost one battle cruiser and heavily damaged two to three others. Yes. Let's just enter this port. Yes to all. Let's keep going. That battle cruiser looks like he's trying to get in. He's trying. Not a lot of. Yeah, he's falling back. He might try and get one merchant, but we're not gonna fight him here. This is not great. Okay. Yes, 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 I know. We're dealing with... One of them is still out there. Fast. Okay. Think we're good now. Yeah, here come the Zeppelins, they're coming on back. Okay, and they went back in. Alright, they sank one of our merchants. It's a major victory for us because we sank one of their battle cruisers and heavily damaged another. Lightly damaged two others. They medium damaged two of our battle cruisers and heavily damaged another of ours, but everything else was fine. So, all told, we still did well, and they didn't sink two of our ships, so they didn't gain victory. So yeah, that worked out pretty well. Leave scenario. Okay. Italian may a minor victory. Gain one uh, uh, one prestige. And they get about half of the VP off of that. Uh, sure, we'll name that one. Okay. Oh, well, that was another... Another French battlecruiser sank. Of the same class, too. It was another Dunkirk class. So if we, if we go check the Almanac, uh, the French... Sank ships. It was the lead ship of the Dunkirk class, built in 1909, uh, 1908. Huh. Or no, that was no, that was a different class. Huh. Oh, they looked very similar. No, it was the Dunque, 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 Dunque. I don't. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. It's French. Uh, okay, so it's a different ship of the class. But either way, it was another. It was another one of their. Uh, their battle cruisers, which puts them down actually to uh, five, where they actually had quite a few more um, when they started this out. So yeah, we're slowly pulling ahead. Well, we're not pulling ahead, but we're slowly making a difference. <laughs> uh, but either way, we're way over time for this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!